fuck are you waiting on, man? Hey, what's going on? This is me, Nate Jackson, and beside me is my friend Jesse Keller. Right, and uh, today on the weekly album reviews, we are going to be covering uh, the 598 EP, which was done by Metallica back in 1987. The first recordings, including uh, Jason Newstead after Cliff Burton shortly passed away. So basically, he's n new to the uh, review shit. <clears throat> so basically, as I explained to him, we're just going to be talking about the songs and, you know, rating the album on a scale of 1 to 10. Even though it's not a full album, it's kind of like a cheat. That's why I'm doing this because we're on a fucking delay. Enough, enough with the chit chat. Let's get to the review. His fucking fault, by the way. So, the 598 EP was a fucking uh, cover up EP, which, you know, all the songs are covers. It's uh, five songs on the album. The first one is Helpless by, originally done by Diamond Head, one of Lars Ulrich's major influences as to uh, starting a band. Oh, and, uh, shit. There. Oh, keep on going. There we go. Sorry about the delay. I had to put the shades on, man. So, start off with the song Helpless, originally done by Diamond Head, like I said before, one of large, Lars Ulrich's biggest inspirations for creating a fucking metal band. He even fucking uh, bunked with uh, Sean Harris, who was the singer, back when they were uh, doing a tour in the early 80s. He's never... I'm trying to get him into metal, so <laughs> this will basically be his and first impressions on the shit. Okay, may I start this off? For Helpless, yes. For Helpless. I think the drum line, the intro, was bad ass. It was like, it just got you when you first heard that. It just got you into the song. It's basically... Decided like Metallica just basically grabbed your head, just kept on kneeing you in the face several freaking times with the drum solo. Right? And then, uh, nice ass fucking guitar solo, some good riffs there. Then we, uh, move on to the second song on the list The Small Hours by Holocaust. Another underground new wave of British heavy metal band. It's one of the longer songs on the EP. And the original version of the song is like 8 minutes, but this one's only like, you know, 6 minutes and 50 something second song. It's kind of like one of those songs when I first heard it, I had like this, you know, holy shit type of response because I never heard a fucking Metallica song like that before. And then I used to have the Garage Inc. Part 2 on cassette. And so what I'd do is that I'd actually fucking slow the tape down there in that song so it'd sound more fucking creepy. In my personal opinion, the second song was, like I said about the first one, all Metallica's shit is pretty fucking awesome. Except, Except for that one era we're not going to talk about. Yeah. You know what we're talking about, people. But, the like Garage Days, I like all the covers that they did. They just decided to pay, in my personal opinion, pay tribute to the artists before them. Oh, fuck yeah. The third song is uh, The Weight, originally done by Killing Joke, which is a punk band, by the way. <clears throat> it's another one of those songs that's like, really cool and has like a nice opening riff even though it's not you know extremely heavy it's still pretty fucking heavy I think in may I speak yeah okay thank you when I have that silence that's where you put your abuse okay. on the song in the in my personal opinion right now the more heavier the better I like guitar riffs, which are one good thing, drum solos, and 
this whole album, in my personal opinion, I've never heard anything like this. I got I got to do my review, t- final review, ten out of ten. It's perfect. Well, we haven't even covered the last two songs yet. I know, but I'm doing my whole shit early. You ain't doing your shit early. We're fucking synchronizing, bitch. Do you know what it's called? That's where you have fucking... I know what synchronizing is. Fuck, fuck, I'm trying to find the right word. Timing. No, not timing. Simultaneous orgasms. Or, you know, it's like a bunch of just fucking kablam. Okay, going okay, 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 okay. Hey, it's my channel. I can say whatever the fuck I want. It's not like people are watching this shit anyways, but eh, <laughs> who gives a fuck? Then the next song we have uh, Crash Course in Brain Surgery, which is actually pretty cool to listen to by uh, originally done by Budgie, which have been around forever. And fun fact, Lars Ulrich and Dave Mustaine initially bonded over that band when I first met. Nice. Yeah. It's a pretty good song. has like the nice it has it's the one with that fucking you know little bass opening. Oh that was awesome. And then last but not least my personal favorite song on the EP because it's by my favorite fucking punk band a medley between Last Caress and Green Hell. Now if you thought that the old, the original Green Hell was good. This one's actually pretty fucking great. It's that fast, raw, heavy, punch you in the face and fucking piss on the blood kind of attitude. And then the best part, which is kind of a little funny about the uh, end of the album, is how it has that little fucking mock, I wouldn't say mock, but you know, like cringe parody fucking playing of Run to the Hills. I only played, like, the first, you know, few fucking seconds, but it's still pretty funny. Yeah. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you rate this? I give it a solid fucking 8. I'm changing my opinion. I agree with him. I give it a solid fucking 8. The reason why I say 8 is because it's an EP and not a full album, and plus it's pretty hard to fucking pull off something, you know, as something like a really good cover fucking album. Mm -hmm. Covers are difficult as it is, you know, because there are some covers that are just really fucking shitty, like the Marilyn Manson version of Tainted Love, uh, fucking the Disturbed's version of Sound of Silence. Oh my god. I really fucking hate that. Anybody plays that song around me, I will butt rape you. (laughs) He'll butt rape you. A day. Yep. A day. We're, we're, we'll get going on tank at another time. But yeah, man. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this uh, review. We're going to be doing a couple more videos. I'm staying here till Monday, so who knows how many videos we're going to be shooting. No, 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 no. We're going to be surprising them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're in for a surprise. <laughs>